A nuclear fission reaction can go on to cause further fission reactions, and this is called a chain reaction. So within a chain reaction, the first fission reaction goes on to cause further fissions. But what is it that causes these chain reactions? Well, each fission reaction will release two to three neutrons. So during a fission reaction, the larger nucleus splits into two smaller nuclei as well as neutrons. But how do these neutrons cause the chain reaction? Well, each neutron can be absorbed by a large nucleus to cause a new fission reaction. So remember that fission reactions start when a slow-moving nucleus is absorbed. Each of these reactions will then go on to release two to three neutrons. Each neutron is capable of being absorbed and causing another fission reaction. This process continues until all of the fissile nuclei, which are the nuclei capable of undergoing fission, have split and released neutrons. You may be asked to recall this process for your exams or explain how a single neutron can cause multiple reactions. So what does it mean to have a controlled chain reaction? The reaction is controlled if, on average, each fission causes only one further fission reaction. So we start with one reaction that releases three neutrons. To control the reaction, two neutrons must be removed, so they're absorbed by non-fissile nuclei. This means only one successive reaction can happen. So there is a continuous chain of single reactions as one neutron causes only one reaction and one neutron goes on to take part in the next reaction. So what happens if the reaction isn't controlled? The reaction is uncontrolled if all of the neutrons released cause further fission reactions. So as before, we start with one reaction. This one reaction now leads to three reactions as all of the neutrons cause another reaction. So if three neutrons are produced from each nuclei, there will be nine reactions that follow. Those nine reactions will go on to cause 27 further reactions and then 81 reactions follow that one. So as you can see, the rate in a chain reaction increases rapidly. But why is an uncontrolled chain reaction so dangerous? Well, an uncontrolled reaction will quickly release huge amounts of energy, causing a nuclear explosion. Nuclear weapons work by facilitating uncontrolled nuclear reactions. So in a nuclear explosion, all of the energy released will originate from a single nuclear reaction. The explosion will also throw out the unstable byproducts of fission, leading to irradiation and contamination. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos, and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there.